Now, today is World Tuber Tuberculosis Day. I get my teeth in this morning. <laughs> and it serves to uh, raise awareness about the devastating consequences of TB, which, of course, as you know, affects the lungs. It was 141 years ago today that Dr Robert Koch announced he discovered the bacterium that caused TB, which began the journey towards diagnosis and cure. But what are the symptoms of TB? And are we doing enough to support the cause of sort of dealing with it, getting rid of it? Let's talk to NHS GP uh, Dr Anita Raja. Good to see you, uh, Anita, as always. I mean, TB is something that we know very little about as members of the public these days, aren't we? It, it seems to be extremely rare, certainly in the UK, but what, what is its prevalence? We've done really well in the UK, actually, if we compare ourselves to the rest of Europe. And in terms of awareness, yes, I agree. There's not much information out there. And it's so important that people like you come forward and talk about this very important topic. Now, tuberculosis is a condition uh, which affects your lungs predominantly. But it's not just restricted to the lungs because it can spread to your glands, your lymph nodes. It can spread to your bones and other parts of your body. Tuberculosis uh, is a condition condition which can be identified if you are having a cough which lasts more than three weeks, you're having weight loss, you're having night sweats, you have lymph adenopathy, which essentially means that the lymph nodes, the glands in your neck are up or any glands in your body are up, which you're concerned about for a period of more than three weeks, then it's vital that you speak to your general practitioner, your GP, who would then be interested in requesting a chest x-ray to look at your chest. And what happens if it's not caught early? It can get very serious, can't it? It certainly can. And uh, the, the beauty, though, about the disease is that it's a bacterial infection. And most bacterial infections do have a cure. So if we nip the evil in the bud, then we can offer you antibiotics, which is over a long period of time. So you may need to be on these for a couple of months and we can treat tuberculosis and two to three weeks of taking the antibiotics you're not infectious anymore so essentially this means that if somebody has tuberculosis they're living with their family we've commenced them on antibiotics over a period of two to three weeks they will not be infectious anymore so other people are unable to catch it from them which is excellent and um, but then again you know when we look at the tuberculosis of um, other countries or people who are uh, sort of um, you know taking antibiotics for even viral illnesses for them, it's a bit of a problem to treat the tuberculosis because they could suffer from something called multiple drug-resistant tuberculosis, which is a bit tougher to treat. We can still treat it, but we can do this with first-line drugs and we sort of need input from microbiologists and uh, then we need to put them on stronger antibiotics. Aren't most people now vaccinated? I mean, you know, I don't know what age it is now. Is it early secondary school? And, and I mean, certainly back in my day, everyone got a, got a booster. Yeah. So now um, in the UK, we uh, offer the BCG vaccine to anyone under the age of 35 um, and babies, newborn babies who are uh, sort of high risk. Now, the question really is who is high risk? High risk is any person who is uh, from a country that is high risk for TB, where there's a prevalence of tuberculosis. High risk is a baby that's born in a family, for instance, a second generation uh, from someone who's from a family that belongs to Africa originally, South Asia, which in includes uh, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, sort of China, those children are then offered the BCG vaccine. But no, not everyone is offered the BCG vaccine. You need to be high risk from, you know, uh, categorised as high risk. As you were saying, it, it, it's very rare now in the UK to, to have TB. It's, it's planned to be eliminated entirely in England uh, by 2035, but it still is a massive killer around the world, isn't it? Do you think that there needs to be more, fun, more funding, more effort to try and end TB globally? Certainly, especially in third world countries where people are so poor they can't afford food. I mean, tuberculosis is the least of their worries. Imagine a family of 15 people living in one room, overcrowded, no ventilation. One member catches tuberculosis, the whole family is affected. It's very expensive because it's private health care in third world countries, essentially. And people need to pay for their medications. They need to pay for their treatments. This is why we need to really cherish the NHS, which is an excellent system. If only we could make it 
work. It's uh, really, uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, in third world countries, um, WHO should make more of an effort and there should be more awareness. But you see, in those countries, I guess priority is surviving um, and not really being treated for tuberculosis. OK, Dr. Raju, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much indeed. I mean, it's, it's amazing where we've moved on. Mm. I mean, my grandma used to talk, it's con known as consumption. Consumption, Wasn't it, yes, back in yes. the day? Mm. And the number of people... I mean, she knew loads of people who died from mm. consumption. Um, you know, it was just like a really common thing. Mm. Um, but we are in this amazing position now where it's just not a, mm. not a problem for most of us. But we still need to be honest. It can't... Can't forget about it. No, and it's, that's, that's important, thing. isn't it? We were having a conversation in the newsroom uh, this morning and one of the producers was asking if it had been eradicated because it is so rare mm. in this country. But the point is, it's not. Not yet. No, uh, we're not on yet. the way, but globally, it's still a killer. And so, as Dr Raja was just saying, funding is very, very important to mm. completely eradicate this disease.